happy Tuesday. It's totally one of those weeks that I'm not going to know what day it is. So it's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. I am Jenny with Roots and Wings Furniture. Um, we're going to just chat for a second here and see if anybody joins us. Tucker will join us. Here's Tucker. He's hanging out with me in the workshop today. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to change the look of your hardware. Um, and this can be really useful if you refinish furniture, but even if you don't, I know you have furniture or kitchen cabinet hardware. Um, it can really be used on any kind of hardware uh, throughout your house. So just keep that in mind as you watch and um, think about where you can use it. All right, so last week I showed you polishing hardware and how to um, get some of the dirt and grime off over the years and how it brings it back to life. Sometimes there's sections on that hardware um, that might not look as shiny as others, so you might want to change it. And this this stuff is great. It's permanent wax. Let me show you what it is here. Bring it close. This is Rub and Buff. It is a permanent wax product, and you apply it to your hardware to give it a little bit of shine. This one's my favorite color and probably what I use most often. It's antique gold, and you know gold right now is all the rage. So. Um, it's gold without being too brassy. This is a good gold, and I'll show you what it looks like. You know, this might be something you might have on something at home for a piece. It just needs a little bit of shine, but there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's not, it's a good style. It's a classic style. We just need to give it a little bit of life. So let me show you, and then I'll show you this, this fun piece here. All you do is, I use a Q-tip. You just dip a little bit of this goes a long way. Dip it in the top. Let me get close here. And then we're just going to rub it over that front section. Let me get closer. I don't know if y'all can see that. Do you see how that just shines it up real nice? It gives it a nice glow, but it still has the patina showing through. So it looks real natural. And you can just go over all the raised sections. So that that's the antique gold. That's a really nice color. What I wanted to show you today is this piece. I'm working on this set for a client. It's a dresser and a nightstand, and it has this brassy hardware. And she said, I don't want the hardware. Um, just get rid of it. Do something else. Which is fine. But the only thing is, it's like 16 holes. And so I thought, you know, it's going to get a little bit expensive. And this is a pretty classic style. So I said, you, let's try to recolor it. And this is what we came up with. Can you all see the difference between this and this? Let me get closer. So this is the brassy finish, how it started. And I didn't screw it in, so it's not. And then, with a little bit of rub and buff, check that out. It has a white finish over the gold. And it's almost like a beachy rubbed look. This is going to match the chandelier in my client's room that the dresser is going in. So in just a couple seconds, you can totally change the look of your hardware. And it's really just a one step easy process. So let me show you on this. Okay. I'm gonna grab my little case here. This one is called Antique White. So we're gonna use that. If you're gonna use your fingers at all in this, make sure you wear gloves. Cause like I said, this is permanent. You can walk around with gold fingers for a while. That may be kind of fun, or maybe not. All right, so here's what we got. Got this little piece of hardware and a little bit of fuzz. Oops. Okay. And we're just going to rub the white all over the hardware here. Y'all see that? Just real evenly. And it's just going to give it that whitewashed look. Now just keep working with it with your, I'm sorry, we're off screen here with your Q-tip until you get it the color, the amount that you want, and then you're gonna let it dry. Once it's dried, it won't come off. It won't chip off. Um, it's not gonna come off in your skin or anything. It's a permanent product. So look at that. Look how easy that was. Wasn't that simple? And you could totally do this to anything that's metal. Hmm. That's a fun thought, right? Okay, let me show you the color. So on the handle here, I'm gonna do the same thing. And we're just going to give it, oops, I need a little bit more. So 
Look at that look. That whitewash should look just like that. Rub it in, and then you can just kind of buff it up with a cloth and polish it. It shows enough of the shine of the gold through, but it's still that nice, um, takes out the brassiness of it, gives it more modern look. So, look at that. Isn't that fun? Y'all, I'm telling you, this is so exciting. Now, if you get a little bit too much, or like, oh, that's not quite the look I want, Mineral Spirits will take it off. Um, just dip your Q-tip in a little bit of this and rub it, and it'll take it right off. But like I say, otherwise, when it dries, it's not going to rub off on your skin or your clothes or anything like that. And I tried with the finished one. Where did that go? Here. You can't even scratch off with your nail. I tried scratching it off. And it's good to go. So, isn't that so fun? Check out Rub and Buff. It comes in all different colors. Gold. I've used copper before, which is really pretty. Um, it even comes in like a patina green, so you can make it look like your hardware aged. Um, really fun. There's a black, which could be interesting. And then this is the white, which gives it, like, say, that kind of beachy, I don't know, kind of distressed gold beachy look. So I love this. I'm going to finish up this set and stay tuned on Facebook where I'll show you the before and after of this. All right, y'all. Have a great week. And oh, I have to tell you one more thing. On Thursday starts the summer tutorial series on the blog. So y'all have to check it out. The first makeover is great. It's with Java Gel. And I'm going to tell you how to do it. Um, have a video come out for you and everything. And a coupon code for Java Gel. So um, tune in on Thursday. Uh, I'll have the video up on Facebook and on my blog.